And now we stand with Cody and Erica on the day they intend to form a home of their own. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayer as their brothers and sisters. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today. Then with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. Today is the big day, the beginning of us forever being the Burnett's. I can't help but think about the very first moment I saw you. I couldn't stop smiling. I knew instantly that I had to talk to you. I did not have the slightest clue about what I was going to say, but I knew I had to try. Dear Cody, our day is finally here. We have shared so many memories in our lives together. But today when you become my husband is one that will always be my favorite. The last six years have been the best of my life because we have shared them together. I will never forget the night these two met. It was one of the first nights home from summer. I was sick and asleep in Erica's bed. <laughs> When I was woken to the tapping of rocks being thrown at her window, followed by a lot of giggles. <laughs> Come to find out, a guy named Cody had walked her home from a house party down the street. Shout out to the Weisses. <laughs> and she was locked out of the house. How are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. I love you. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, let's spin around. We've got to see the whole thing. Wow, how nice. Six years later, and here we are preparing for our wedding, and for me preparing to keep myself together when I see you for the first time. Just like when we first met, I know I won't be able to stop smiling. The real question is, will I be able to pick my job off the floor fast enough to repeat after Deacon Larry. I can't wait to see how our story unfolds. I can still picture your contagious smile from the first night we met. And I can't wait to see you waiting for me at the end of the aisle. I, Cody, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I, Erica, take you, Cody, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of your life. Erica and Cody have showed us the immeasurable love they have for each other ever since the night he walked her home, so I don't think any of us are surprised that we witnessed them becoming husband and wife today. My hope for the two of you is that you go over the arguments about dishes and cleaning as fast as Erica and I did, <laughs> and that you continue to love and support each other every day. I'd like to kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>
obviously I've known Cody forever, and <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm used to that goofy, cheesy smile and those huge dimples. I don't think I've ever seen that smile for 45 minutes straight, though. <laughs> People sometimes ask me if I'm excited to be gaining a sister in Erica. <laughs> but the truth is that Erica has been a part of the family for years. Erica told me that Cody was taking her out on a date. And lucky him, he met almost the whole Freeman clan when he came to pick her up that day. <laughs> that summer, Erica and Cody were inseparable, and after a few months, it was time for Erica and I to go back to Columbia for the school year. Cody sent Erica on her way with a care package. I remember us opening it, and I thought to myself, this is the most thoughtful and caring guy. It probably helped that there was wine, a corkscrew that said, hand me the booze and watch me get fabulous, <laughs> and food in that care package that helped sway me a little bit. She is one of the most caring and genuine people that I've ever met. I'm so happy that Cody has Erica in his life, and it's obvious that these two are perfect for one another. You guys are the best. I hope you guys continue to bring each other tremendous happiness. Cheers to Cody and Erica. Woo!